Oh, what a lovely, lovely day. Absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance. Great consequence in this part of the world. They've been talking about this one for a while and they have uh, rolled up to it in fantastic numbers. You should have seen the roads outside the ground in the Arrow 2 leading up to it. It has been bumper to bumper. The traffic has been extraordinary. But the level of expectation is also very, very high. And uh, these supporters who uh, were queuing round the block for their tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture, well, now they can't wait for it to begin. And begin it will any second now. It is a venue, this, which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. And looking down the list of names, it does look, Jim, as though it's going to be a 5-3-2. Well, a reinforced rear guard, Peter, and a compact midfield probably suggests that they're focusing much on giving very little away. I think if you commit to that, then you really can't afford to concede because it clearly demands a quick change in approach if you do, which isn't always easy because in the build-up to this, believe me, they'll have been working principally on organisation and shape in training. And it's not easy just to suddenly come out of that. And we're underway. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Bert Leno. I think his presence might make all the difference for this team. He's got lightning-fast reactions and uh, a coolest under pressure that allows him to make the big one-on-one -on -one saves. He's also very reliable under the high ball or when he's dealing with crosses, and I'd expect the whole defence to play with a bit more assurance with him in place. Yeah, I'd have picked him too. No doubt the fans feel much the same way. Tierney. Tries to get it forward quickly. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Good spell of possession, this, but very little to show for it. Forward it goes. Well positioned to make that interception. And no bullying! Good first touch and almost as good a second. Ah, oh, that's a great effort. There was very little backlift to indicate what was coming. Arsenal really aren't messing about here, are they? The way they've started with, with such great intensity. Hoist it forward. Done very well to intervene. Arsenal have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. And that's a throw. It's on Nelly. Cleared away. He's making good use of his strength there. Just refuses to be out muscled. Attempts to play it through. Oh, he's certainly caught him there. It's a free kick. And the keeper's in command.
well played. He saw that coming. And back to base. Leno sends that a long way. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Gets it back. It's over the line. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Tilly. Precious little by way of ball mouth action yet. Looks to bypass the midfield. He's got his ball, and he's got the to go! That's a cracking strike, and it may have stunned the palms of the keeper. And the whistle goes for half-time. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have spoiled little times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. I'll do it back on the first 45 minutes. From the lack of goals, I really don't think there's as much to criticise. They've got to keep doing what they've been doing, and eventually they should find a way to the back of the net. Here's hope for them. And it's tricky half, lacking only in goals. The score of the old man. So we're just settling back into this second half. A title player so far. Can that change now? Arsenal draw first blood here. Our half time has been a blessing for this team. You know, what a great start to the second half. Good challenge. It just stood firm. He's got through. Protected. It's a throw in. A really good feat from him. Oh, shooting chance! Your impression so far, Jim? 
well, the time has arrived to start taking risks. They may well be happy just to level this. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Chambers. And there's a long ball. And that's been leave it clear. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. And it's played forward. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Chambers. Going for goal! He's got away with one there. Well, I think the opposition was pretty sloppy in creating a problem for themselves then, but he was onto it so quickly and very nearly made them pay. Partey. Tries to get it forward quickly. Tierney. Tries to switch the play. That'll be a throw. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Elneny attempts a clearance. That is terrific skill. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Hector Berry. It is looking like the end. If anything's going to happen, it's got to happen now. At least they're going about it as they should, having brought this on themselves. I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. They're making life really hard for themselves. The ball needs to be in the mixer. Not there. It's official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. El Neni. Hoists it forward. Jensen positions himself well and cuts it out. And that is it. The referee has seen enough. Always in the balance, and in the end, one goal was enough. They are narrowly beaten. I've been in this position myself, and this will be difficult to take. They did everything right but score, but at least I suppose they can reflect on a few positives from this one. Well, thanks for your company, Jim, and a very good day to you.